Alright, what is up guys? We are back with Nanatsu no Taizai, chapter 270, um, Encounter with the Unknown. We have Bond and Meliodas back together, man, and it feels, it just feels right. <laughs> so, um, let's get to this chapter. I think this is going to be a fun one. I don't think we're going to get into anything too serious, uh, maybe, but uh, I think this is definitely going to be a lot of Meliodas and Bond banter, which I miss, so let's get into it. Um, hey, Captain, what would you do first after we get back to the real world? Bond, this isn't the time to be talking about that. Come on, what does it matter? I'd break Elizabeth's curse and then drink enough Barnia ale to fill me up to my eyes. I'd revive Elaine, of course. After that, I'd drink enough uh, Aberdeen ale to bathe myself in. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a bad plan. We really do get along. Oh, so that creature just spit something at them? Full counter, nice. Uh, seriously? Uh, crap, I can't get free. Oh, okay, that's the tail that hit him? Okay. Or the tail that grabbed him? Weird. Uh, I'll clean this mess up in a jiffy. Crazy hunt. I'm trying to see, is that new? Have we ever seen Crazy Hunt? I don't think we have. I don't know. Um, and that's that. Just one more to go. Uh, this one's meat really is the tastiest, isn't it? <laughs> so he's eating. I'm immortal and this isn't even your real body, Captain. So it's not like either of us need to be doing this. But somehow eating really does make you feel alive. Something wrong? It's been 500 years since I've seen you, but I'm still no less shocked at your ability to adapt to things. Well, what am I supposed to do? Unlike you here, I'm flesh and blood. I've got no choice but to get used to it. I'm not saying it's strange that you try to get used to it. It's strange that you are able to. Oh yeah, take a look at this. Hmm? I don't know if it's because I've adapted to this place, but neither... The burns nor the frostbite have any effect on me anymore. And my lungs, which used to be sore and swollen, can now breathe like it was fresh air here. Bond. You may be the only human that will ever have been able to stay in purgatory for over a thousand years. Manage to survive and still hang on to your sanity now or ever. Uh, well sure, I'm immortal after all. That alone wouldn't allow you to endure this. Perhaps it's because I was raised... I was raised in such a total crap environment as a kid. I don't even think that's the same ballpark. Your experience from enduring and adapting to purgatory has caused an explosive transformation upon your body and soul. I'm sure once you get back to the other side, everyone will be shocked. Okay. I'm excited to see, like, yeah, like, just... I really hope that there is, like, a tangible difference between Bond here and purgatory... And that when he does get to the real, real world, that it's just noticeably, like, like, just you can notice how much stronger he's gotten because of his time in Purgatory. Um, I mean, the fact that he has spent, like, that many years here, like, you would think he's gotten incredibly stronger. Um, so I can't really feel anything much myself, but it'd be great if I had powered up enough to be able to face the Ten Commandments toe-to-toe -to -toe on their level. You just laughed at me, didn't you? You bastard. No, not at all. Um, ever since I got here to Purgatory, I realized all too well that your power really is insanely straight up nuts. Even the flames and ice of Purgatory can't leave a scratch on you, whereas upon my immortal body, I've been given these medals of honor here. I'm sure when you get back to your real body, nobody will be able to stand up against you. Um, which means we'd better hurry up and find the Demon King and get back to the other side. I totally forgot about the whole, like, Demon King, like, just, like, the whole reason why we're in, um, uh, or that we need to get to the Demon King in Purgatory. So, like, I'm really interested to see if, like, we're gonna get, like, Bond and Meliodas versus the Demon King, because that would be, like, straight up hype. Like, I wouldn't be able to handle that, honestly. <laughs> that would be too cool. Um... Okay, so, and then I'm going to get my grope on and cop a feel all up on Elizabeth. Jeez, man. <laughs> it's nice to see old Meliodas, man. 
Uh, then I'm gonna spit some mad game all over Elaine. Um, after that, we'll reopen Boar's Hat together with all the seven deadly sins. That's fine. Just don't do any cooking. It's nice that they're they're like in the same mindset as like they're on the same wavelength. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> jeez. Um, it's watching us, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so it's cool that they noticed something too. Hmm. The hell is Melio? Okay, Melio is going after that thing. And there's Bon. Gotcha. Did his fingers get cut off? Captain. That's enough. Who are you? I could ask you the very same the very same, you strange looking suspicious beings. Earlier you said something I simply could not let pass, that you two were going to go back to the other side. Huh. You can't possibly mean that you are travelers from another world. Well, yeah, I guess you could say that. I knew it. Are you one of the Demon King's men? Demon King? Uh, that big old thing? I know where he is. If you want me to guide you to him, I wouldn't mind. Really? But you'll have to help me as well. Help you? Uh, who the heck are you anyways? What? <laughs> my name is Wild, a wandering warrior in search of my long lost little brother, Master Hawk? What? Uh, like I said, the name's Wild. That's the end of the chapter 271 Sincere Feelings. Um, a helper appears with plenty of strength enough to even make quick work of Meliodas. I'm so confused. Why is this a thing? <laughs> Why is this a thing? Why is there a purgatory version of Hawk? I mean, I know that's not the case, but his long lost little brother. Weird. I wonder, and forgive me if I, if I forgot, but like, has Hawk ever mentioned that he had a brother or something like that? Like, I, I honestly don't, I don't think he ever has, has he? Um, that's really strange. Yeah, I don't know. Has he? I don't think so. But still, this is like, it's pretty funny though. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess that's it for the chapter, man. Not really too much happened uh, in this chapter besides, I guess, Wild's reveal, right? Um, that's the end of the chapter, right? Oh no, there's more. I think. Oh no, it's the side story. Okay. But yeah, that's it for the chapter. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess just the wild reveal. Um, getting a little bit more about Bond and just like how long he's been in purgatory and uh, just saying that he's probably going to be like a different person once he actually gets to the real, the real world. And just see him saying that he, he wants to, like, he can't wait to take on a, a commandment toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So I'm really excited to see that, to get to see Bond have his spotlight as well. Um, yeah, man, I'm excited. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the chapter, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.